Okay, this is my second video on reactions of alkanes. Um, if you've missed my first video where I dealt with substitution reactions, please check that out. Okay, in the second video, we're looking at combustion. Combustion involves um, reacting any of these organic substances with oxygen. Okay, and um, there are three situations here. Okay, or four products that can be formed in combustion of any of these organic substances. In this case, alkanes. Okay, so we can either form carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide and water vapor or carbon monoxide or carbon 2 oxide and water vapor or sometimes even just carbon and water vapor. So these three situations actually depends on the availability of oxygen. Okay, if we have enough oxygen or we have less oxygen, then these products can be formed in this order. Okay, so the first type of combustion reaction is complete combustion where we have excess of oxygen. So in this case, we are dealing with excess of oxygen. Once there's excess of oxygen, our product mostly will be carbon dioxide and water vapor. Carbon dioxide and water vapor. We'll simply take um, an example for this. Look at this case, methane, which is the simplest alkane. Um, if burnt completely in oxygen, that this means if there is excess oxygen, we'll simply um, write our product as carbon dioxide and water vapor. Carbon dioxide and water vapor. We can represent these with symbol equations. Um, let's use a symbol equation so as CH4 for methane. Oxygen is a gas, so it should be diatomic. Uh, that's O2. Carbon dioxide is CO2. And uh, water vapor, that's H2O. Okay, uh, what we should do next is to check if uh, the equation is balanced. So let's quickly do a check on that. Uh, carbon is okay, hydrogen is not. Okay, so let's make the hydrogen balanced, okay. Uh, this should be four hydrogen on the right because there's uh, we have four hydrogen atoms also on the left Okay, oxygen is also not balanced because we have four on the right just two on the left So make oxygen also balanced. So we have a balanced chemical reaction right now So this is our, our complete combustion reactions are written basically the product should be carbon dioxide or carbon four oxide and water vapor our next combustion reaction is uh, incomplete combustion. In this case, uh, there should be limited oxygen. Okay, limited oxygen. Uh, that gives us the product formed in incomplete combustion. Okay, and our product should be carbon monoxide or carbon two oxide. Okay, and water vapor. Carbon monoxide and water vapor. If we take a typical example, uh, let's also use methane, which is the simplest hydrocarbon. Methane and oxygen. Okay, this should simply give us carbon monoxide. Okay, and water vapor. Okay, we can represent this also in, um, in symbols. So uh, methane is CH4 and uh, oxygen still diatomic O2. Carbon monoxide is CO and uh, water H2O. Okay, we can simply uh, balance this equation out. Uh, let's see how we do that. Carbon is still fine. Uh, hydrogen is not. So let's make hydrogen balance on both sides. Multiply this by two to make that four on both sides. And oxygen also needs to get balanced. The oxygen is three on, on the right. So uh, let's do something to oxygen right there. Uh, we can simply uh, multiply oxygen by 3 over 2 to make it 3 on both sides. So carbon is 1 on both sides, hydrogen is 4, and oxygen is 3 on both sides. Okay, you can actually check uh, several examples of this. Uh, just keep increasing the number of carbon atoms, change from methane to ethane to propane and so on. Okay, uh, practice how to balance um, these uh, combustion reactions. Lastly, Still on incomplete combustion, uh, we still have uh, limited oxygen for incomplete combustion. Okay, but this time our product can differ. 
Okay, there are a few times that the product will be just carbon and water vapor. Okay, just carbon and water vapor. Okay, let's use the same example for um, methane and oxygen. In this case, we're looking at if it's incomplete combustion, a product can be carbon. Okay, sometimes the carbon here is written as soot. Okay, and uh, water. Okay, we can represent this also using symbol equations. A methane is CH4 and uh, oxygen is always diatomic even though it's uh, limited. Okay, carbon is uh, C and water H2O. Okay, what we are left with right now is, uh, is to balance this equation out. Carbon is good, hydrogen is not. Okay, make hydrogen um, balance on both sides. Okay, and that actually balances out uh, oxygen also. So our carbon is balanced on both sides, hydrogen is, and oxygen is also. All right, so there are three uh, basic examples we've seen right here on combustion reactions in the first stage. On the first reaction, we can actually produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. In the second one, we can produce carbon monoxide. And in the last one, uh, we should produce just carbon depending on availability of oxygen. Okay, if we have excess oxygen, then there's complete combustion that produces carbon dioxide. Okay, but if there is limited oxygen, then uh, our product will basically be carbon monoxide or carbon as the case may be if there is very much limited oxygen. All right, that's good.